Well, I'm excited to be in the brand new Bison Ventures studio today. Huge shout out to my partner and great friend, Ryan Madrid and Trisha Madrid and the whole team that put this together. I watched them take this from an idea to actually implementing and executing it, which is fantastic. Uh, the other piece of good news I want to share is what's happening in the mortgage markets in terms of credit liquidity. Credit liquidity is a fancy way of saying how much are banks lending. Uh, you know, there's a period of time there where liquidity was, was tight, meaning banks were sort of restricting how much they were going to lend. They were making their guidelines more restrictive, more conservative. And we're seeing a reversal of that. And it's good timing because what's happening with lenders is they're seeing that a lot of homeowners are stuck, right? You're stuck with the COVID rate on the house currently. You don't want to get rid of that rate, which all makes sense. So I'm going to quickly just tell you the two most prominent ones that have recently happened. Number one, Bison just rolled out a 15% down no income qualifying purchase product for investment property purchases. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, makes it easy on someone who wants to acquire rental properties in terms of paperwork, et cetera. And just to, for a frame of reference, most investment property purchases require 20% down or more. So um, that's an exciting one. The second one is the FHFA, another fun industry acronym, which is Federal Housing Finance Agency. They essentially supervise, oversee, and regulate conforming loans for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And they just came out a few days ago and said that they're going to pilot a new program where they'll start purchasing closed-end second mortgages on the market. And really what that means in layman's terms is they're seeing the demand for the consumer wanting to take equity out of their home. I've talked about this on prior videos. Bison is getting all sorts of phone calls about how do I tap into my equity because equity is the highest it's ever been in this country. And you know we have to sometimes broker those loans or go to credit unions. And, and, and now no Knowing that the big guys are going to roll something out. It shows they're listening to the market, and I'm excited to see what they come up with. There aren't details on it yet, but um, it's good to see that we're evolving with the market finally. Sometimes it takes time, and uh, as I know more, I'll let you know.